Hi everyone. Mark from Retribution Gaming here, continuing my playthrough of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And today, we are taking on the Marble Garden Zone. And there's a lightning shield right off the bat, which is nice as there are a lot of rings in this zone. On slopes too, and it's very easy to miss them. Also, this level's a little sneaky. Oh, those weird badniks there. The one that I just destroyed, when we were kids me and my brother, for some unfathomable reason, would call them spiky chickens. I don't know why, they look nothing like chickens. I guess we were just idiots. But yeah, this level's a little bit sneaky, in that some of these spikes are fake. Like that, in fact. And you can bounce on them, they're badniks, they shoot you. You can tell if the spikes are fake is that the spikes themselves are slightly thicker at the bottom. Oh hi big gold ring. Let's see if we can get another chaos emerald. Is this the one I failed to do last time? Or have I just been put in another one? I think the last one was green and white, wasn't it? Now what doesn't help, is that for some strange reason, my input is lagging a little bit, so it makes these stages a little trickier. I'm not making excuses here, I'm just stating a fact. But we seem to be doing alright so far. Still got 80 odd blue spheres to go though. I can see this one might be a bit of a slog, so sorry guys. I do like the music in the special zones though. Uh oh, we started speeding up a little bit. Bit too close to the wall there for laggy inputs. See what happens, I panic a little bit. Was that an extra life? Or a continue? I forget what you get for collecting 50 rings in a special zone. Oh, there we go. I did it. I wasn't paying attention to the spheres total. I guess that was a continue then. Pay attention to the stats mark. Right, now, where were, we? You know what, let's go this way. We can go down, I think. Okay, we're going even further down. Morning stars. Oh, hello mid boss. Again, you can't kill it here, or even damage it, but that is the mid boss of this level. Now then, shall we go up? Or shall we go across? Let's see what's. Ah, there we go. For some strange reason, my input just completely froze on me. Let's see what's up, immediately up here, and if there's nothing of note. Yeah, I don't like the looks of that, so let's go this way. I'm glad those fake spikes were there. Oh. Well, it looks like we're going up anyway, kind of, whether we want to or not. Okay, I don't need that anymore I don't think. Whoa, that was close. Damn it. Lost my lightning shield. I was hoping to keep that for the whole act at least. 
Oh hang on a minute. This is a bit annoying. Tails, stop spazzing out. Right, we need to use these platforms to get up there. There we go, else getting up here is quite tricky. Damn it, now I've lost all my rings too. Damn spiky chicken. I got an extra life out of it though, so not all bad. Lightning shield right there. Thankfully, if you hit spikes or a wall whilst on that thing it doesn't do any damage, just knocks you off. Whoa, unexpected morning star to the face. Okay, this face spits arrows, you have to jump up and hit it in the eye. And it's actually a switch. Hmm, right. Looks like we're going down. Oh, actually, another Chaos Emerald? Yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, hoping I was facing in the right direction. This one could be quite tricky with laggy controls. See? And then the controls just freeze. I don't know why. Don't know what's up with them today. I really don't know what happened there. There will be other opportunities. Don't need to get them all just yet. We are only on the third level after all. Although I didn't see any in Hydro City. Ideally wanted to make up for that here. So gotta keep an eye out for those giant gold rings. Hmm, Morning Star and Spike? Really wanting to try and squish us. Okay, I thought this was where the mid boss was hiding. Evidently not. And I'm now going in the wrong direction to the way I wanted to go. But I got another extra life. And I do want to go up here. Easy does it though. And again, always the spiky chickens. Luckily there's some rings here, because I think we're now coming up to the mid boss. This is tunnel bot. Its gimmick is that it drills into the ceiling, stalactites will rain down, which you'll want to avoid, it'll then drop down to try and skewer you, so you'll want to avoid that too. Not that difficult really. But that's act 1 complete. That was a long one. 6 minutes. And so here we are on to act 2. I was just thinking about the boss of this level for some reason. And to be fair, the boss encounter is pretty cool. need to get out of that corner. Hi Robotnik. No, this isn't a very short ad. Robotnik just shows up a couple of times. But that is the machine he'll be piloting in the boss encounter. That is one massive drill though. But right now, all it's done is lower that section so we can progress. Come on controls. Thank you. I need to look into that I think. Damn morning stars. I love them as a weapon, not so much when they come out of nowhere. 
You can avoid them when they swim behind the pole. Boy, Well done Tails. I do like how you can bounce off those rollers. Hmm. Do I want to go down there? Probably not. Let's just continue along this path. Haha, ha, I didn't jump off this time. I've learned your game spiky chickens. Oh come on. I am doing so badly today. It's almost embarrassing. What? I know it had its spikes out, but Sonic's Insta Shield didn't help there? Evidently doesn't seem to work on those. At least we've come across a checkpoint though. Okay, I guess we're going up there. Okay, I guess we're going down there. And this invincibility would have been handy a few minutes ago. These eye switches are usually quite annoying when they're at this level, the arrows are kinda of difficult to avoid. Not like these, where the arrows fly over your head. Damn it! You can see why I hate these spiky chickens. Right, take it out on you, just because. Maybe I just need to be a bit more cautious. Let's jump over it this time. Okay. I thought it was going to shoot an arrow first. Ah, and here Robotnik shows up again. And that was kinda stupid. This part is where it gets a little more dangerous. Robotnik's drilling has done more than just lower a floor. It's causing the entire zone to collapse. Wow, Tails properly Indiana Jones that. Seriously? I mean, just take all my rings and be done with it. Okay, here we go. Where's Robotnik? I think I can get him one hit. Oh yeah, the hits we did before don't count. Right, so here we go, one of the more unique boss encounters. We are kinda controlling Tails to move around, and Sonic to attack. And thankfully, 
You can't die by falling off the screen here, which is nice as I'll be doing it a lot. I'm not going to try to hit him from this angle because of his jets. And you can tell which way he'll be coming from, by where he flies off in the background. Whoa, I thought I was going to hit him again there. Come on, get out of the way. I could have done without losing all of my rings there. Gotta be careful now. That is a weird noise he makes when he flies off. The key here is to take it cautiously. You can hit him multiple times on each pass, but with no rings, and the potential for Tails to catch you again, or getting hit by his jets or something. And there we go, the Egg Drillster Mark II has been destroyed. And I can't help but think that Robotnik was compensating for something? Anyway, that's the end of Marble Garden Zone. And we've been flying for so long now. It's become night, which takes us to the aptly named Carnival Night Zone. So next time, we'll be taking on this brightly colored monstrosity. Until then, a huge shout out to these wonderful people, without whom none of this would have happened. Also be sure to check out Scared for Science, where a self-confessed total wimp plays horror games in support of Alzheimer's UK. I've left a link in the video description. And if tabletop gaming is more your bag, please do check out my new channel Fingers Fums and Fits. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out another video, and be sure to hit the like button, and subscribe so you'll know when I post new content. Have a great day y'all, and I hope to see you again, real soon.